When we were first married, which was almost 18 years ago, we talked about how we would love to have our own children and we would completely be open to adoption if God ever laid that on our heart. We were snuggling on the couch up in our movie room and this show came on and the first episode is all about adoption. And it's a white family who adopt a brown baby. And I just start sobbing. I just leaned up to him and I just said, I'd do it, I'd do it. And he said, I would yeah. too. We just said to ourselves, you know, who more than us has the means to do this? We've, we're this amazing church, this amazing family. So I just said, okay, Lord, what's step one? I sat in my car in the office at Bethel Music and I just said, Lord, what's first? And I instantly felt like I was supposed to call my friend Rita Springer. I said, hey, Rita, I said, um, it's super top secret, but, and I didn't even get butt out of my mouth. And she goes, you're gonna adopt a black baby boy, aren't you? And I just start sobbing in the car. And she goes, the Lord told me years ago that you would, but I wasn't to tell you until he told me. We sat them down and we said, we've got great, we've got big news. And they thought it was about Christmas or something. It was around this time. Yeah! I think it was our oldest, Haley, who said, I love the name Ryder. And we all were like, yeah, that's a really cool name. Ryder means messenger and Moses means adopted deliverer. We just started with an amazing company called Christian Adoption Consultants, and we were completely done with the process in just over a month. We presented, that's called presenting, we presented three times. The first time we presented, the baby was a preemie, very early baby with medical needs, and the birth mom chose an adoptive mom who was a pediatrician. So, you know, I cried for two days because you wait two days for them to tell you. But again, you're like, oh no, that is the perfect mom for that baby. The third baby, she was pregnant and we really just felt, just, just clicked. She said, I knew it was you when I saw your pictures. The birth mom signed, I knew it was you. Even though you say yes, doesn't mean it's for sure. Brian was out for a prayer walk on our property and she texts me and she goes, the nurse just came in and said, she thinks the C-section will be tomorrow. The doctor's about to come in. I didn't even have your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yelling, Brian! Outside, I'm yelling and trying to get him back. We walk in and she's pre op and I've had three C-sections. So it, it was really amazing because it was just like, I got to be, of course my fourth child's a C-section, you know? We just come in and we just instantly, we fell in love with each other. She, she was referring to women who have babies and then put them up for adoption and then changed her mind yeah. after a family. She Very goes, common. oh, I would never do that. And when she left through my go, that's actually, this is actually gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I got to hold my baby instantly as he came out, and that was a first for me, because I've never had that with my other kids even. When you have your own, it's a holy moment, you know? It's ordained by God, it's what we're supposed to do, but when you adopt, it's like double. You're gaining a son, but you're also saving a life. That feeling, it was really powerful. Um, yeah. And we get the text, She's, all the paperwork's done, she's signed off, he's yours. And that's the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It just felt, it's real. It's actually real. He's actually ours. He's very um, regal. He's very... Um, mm -hmm. Very peaceful. He's just, he brings a peace. We call him Mr. Probably chill. rule us all one day, you know? Because <laughs> he's just... He'll probably be counseling Mr. all chill. of us. Yeah, yeah. It's softened us as a family. Yeah. It centered us it's as a family. It's the best thing for the kids. If you have never thought about adoption, the amount of people that would do it that if they could. On end. Yeah. And I think that it's a call to the church that maybe you don't feel like you're supposed to adopt a child into your home, but you can most certainly right. give to someone who wants to. I cannot think. I, I mean, I'm, there may be, but I cannot think of anything more important than giving to a, an adoption, something that you can touch and yeah. see. I, it's, it's powerful. Do it.